Aquarius. This is your August 2022 reading. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for August 2022. In love. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for August 2022 in love universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of aquarius for august 2022 in love show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mention it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Aquarius, this is you. This is your partner. So, Aquarius, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For August 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Aquarius, is justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you or your partner may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So listen, Aquarius, could be dealing with a Libra, but hey, someone could tell me that something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. Someone may want to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation or we're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Aquarius and their partner. Clarify justice for Aquarius and their partner. Clarify justice for Aquarius and their partner. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So listen, Aquarius, you can tell me that something is off balance. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. Someone may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Both these cards speak of balance here, okay? So listen, you know, someone could tell me that, hey, something was off balance and it wasn't fair, it wasn't balanced, it wasn't just, okay? Very well could be that someone is being shortchanged here, okay? And they feel like it's not being fair. Someone could want to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation by giving the other something. Or you're telling me that, hey, someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. And so this is what's not fair, not balanced, not just. Could also be that someone is wanting to go to the justice system because something was off balance with the giving and receiving. Because someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Or maybe there's a dividing up of the assets, resources, and property. Aquarius, you have the six of wands. You have the six of swords. You have... The Eight of Cups. Your partner has temperance. A lot of balance here. Your partner has the Hermit. And your partner has the Seven of Swords. So, Aquarius, 
The mutual point of interest and what's on both you guys' minds is, listen, something may be off balance here, okay? Very well could be that someone is wanting to come in and right a wrong and, and bring balance to a situation by giving someone something here, okay? Someone could feel like something is off balance because someone is being shortchanged here. You can tell me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two, and this wasn't fair, this wasn't balanced, this wasn't just. Could be dealing with something in the justice system because someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Could be dealing with something something in the justice system where someone is maybe receiving some type of payout or having to pay could also be a dividing up of the assets resources and property we'll see Aquarius you have the six of wands Aries Leo or Sag this is getting attention getting recognition rising above the crowd getting the accolades the pats on the back being triumphant getting the victory victory and success but this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So listen, Aquarius, you can tell me that you're getting their attention. You could be getting, they could be getting your attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something here. This can be an announcement being made, but it could also be victory, okay? Clarify the Six of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Six of Wands. For Aquarius, clarify the Six of Wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Aquarius, listen, this can be about your money assets, resources, property, your abundance here. Yes. You know, someone may have commitment on the brain here. However, in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to a commitment, marriage, living together situation or family dynamics. So listen, Aquarius, you can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something and this is causing an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, family dynamics. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention concerning you know, your abundance here, this money here. Could also tell me that you're getting this uh, victory here with money, assets, resources, property. Yes. You could also tell me that, you know, there's an announcement being made here. Maybe someone wants to go into commitment. Maybe someone is giving someone a bling, bling, shiny thing wanting to go into commitment. So we'll see. Aquarius, you have the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree letting bygones be bygones and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together or this is you saying you just want to move out move on and move away from the relationship so Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. So Aquarius could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aquarius. The Page of Swords. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Aquarius, listen, very well could be some immature, premature communication going on here. Yes. Or you went looking and spying, researching. Clarify the page of swords for Aquarius. Clarify the page of swords for Aquarius. Clarify the page of swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Aquarius, listen, you could be walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So Aquarius, listen, you know, you can tell me that, hey, you guys had this immature, premature communication, and this is the reason why you're walking away, detaching emotionally, just moving away from the relationship. You can tell me that you saw something here when you went looking, and this is the reason why you are walking away, moving away from the relationship. However, Aquarius, you may want to return and put things behind you and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, okay? Aquarius, listen, you have the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So Aquarius, listen, you know, you could be all up in your head fantasizing here, yes. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. Or you're telling me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Aquarius, listen, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or a commitment here. So listen, you could be in your head fantasizing here about maybe some type of abundance. Maybe you're getting it here. You can tell me that you're in your head fantasizing about commitment, maybe getting it here, okay? However, you can tell me that there's some type of confusion concerning money, assets, resources, property, someone accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date. Could have been some lies or illusions attached to this. Yes. Or, you know, maybe some type of confusion going on in you guys' commitment or someone had other options in you guys' commitment. So listen, you know, I feel like it could be something going on financially. We'll see. Maybe something is off balance here. Okay. But it could also be that someone is giving someone something here. Maybe wanting to go into some type of commitment. Maybe trying to make up. We'll see. Aquarius, your partner has temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning your partner to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that they make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So Aquarius could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but your partner could tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. Your partner could tell me that they're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Could be some type of compromise or negotiations going on here. Also a need for your partner to be patient. Clarify temperance. For Aquarius's partner, clarified temperance. For Aquarius's partner, clarified temperance. For Aquarius's partner, it is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering their craft. 
perfecting their skills, trades, and abilities. This is your partner throwing themselves into their work. But this can also speak to them being willing to work on it or put in the work. So listen, Aquarius, you know, this could all be work or business for your partner. However, your partner could tell me that they're willing to work on this or put in the work here, wanting to heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile here. However, listen, is it something going on with work or business? Something, some type of compromise or negotiation, something being off balance here, trying to work things out? Hmm. I don't know why I get the sense of you're being paid, Aquarius. You're being, you're getting this victory here, Aquarius. And maybe you have to work on some type of compromise with paying it. Aquarius, listen, your partner has the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now, your partner's taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching that inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Aquarius, could be dealing with a Virgo, but your partner could tell me, hey, I just need some me time. Your partner could tell me that they're doing some heavy duty soul searching, or they went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the hermit for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the hermit for Aquarius' partner. Six of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your partner's attention or they're beginning to recognize something or they're getting attention and recognition. So listen, Aquarius, your partner can tell me that something is being brought to their attention. They're beginning to recognize something here. They could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. This can be victory, but it could also be an announcement being made here. So is it that your partner is doing some heavy duty soul searching concerning announcement? Is it that they're doing some heavy duty soul searching concerning victory, their victory, but maybe even your victory, okay, is what they're thinking about, okay? They could also be doing some soul searching towards getting your attention because maybe they're wanting to go into some type of commitment here. Aquarius, your partner has a seven of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Aquarius, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness, sneakiness, or sneaking off. Clear for the seven of swords for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your partner's luck and fortune. Well, this wheel can spin and they can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for your partner. So Aquarius, listen, your partner can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. They can tell me it's an actual change in their luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Aquarius' partner. <clears throat> it is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So, brand new, passionate beginnings. So, listen. Aquarius, you know, your partner could be initiating something here. Your partner could have the spark of a new idea. Mm -hmm. Your partner could tell me that you guys had this passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. So listen, your partner could tell me that 
it's an actual change in their luck and fortune here okay and maybe they're having the spark of a new idea to sneak off here because they may have to pay you it may have to be some type of payout here however aquarius your partner can tell me everything between you guys has changed because someone started a passion at the beginning there was some type of lying cheating deceptiveness some type of sneakiness someone could accept it a gift gave a gift went out on a date with other options and this is what is causing you to walk away here mm -hmm. you know right now something is off balance here okay in the relationship someone could be giving more somewhere else giving to two but it could also be that something is going on with some type of payout here and maybe your partner is not wanting to pay or whoever this person is not wanting to pay aquarius this is your august 2022 reading you guys give me feedback subscribe like comment and share and i'll see you guys next week peace